In this presentation, we're going to talk about mindset for a more positive attitude. This is one of the most crucial elements of how one is developed. And it's important that you learn about the kind of mindset that you want to adopt. A positive mindset will help set the course for a positive mental attitude. As long as you keep it that way, it will last a long time. This is a tutorial on how to change your mindset for the better. So let's get started. First, we'll need to identify any patterns of negative thinking. For example, these include thoughts like, I can't do it, I'm not good enough, or I always fail. These are limiting thoughts that can hold you back from achieving your goals or unleashing your full potential. You want to be aware of these thoughts and change them into something positive, taking notes of when these negative thoughts are something that we should suggest. When you notice a pattern, you'll want to work on changing them into patterns of positive thought. Next, you'll want to replace the negative thoughts with positive ones. This may sound easier said than done, but if you consistently frame negative thoughts into positive ones, it will become like second nature. This is a process that will take time, so it's important to catch all of the times you think negative thoughts and reframe them. Some may slip through the cracks, and that's okay. It'll teach you to be more vigilant of them, and you'll have an easier time catching them. So please make sure you reframe the negative thoughts with the positive ones as much as you can. Now the next step will be important. That's surrounding yourself with positivity. This includes being around positive people, watching inspiring movies, listening to uplifting music. Exposing yourself intentionally to all of this will help change your negative thoughts and feelings into something more positive. To that end, you should avoid those who are negative. It's also a good idea to avoid watching movies that have negative themes. And of course, no need to listen to negative music that is sad, angry, and the like. Next, you should practice gratitude. You'll want to express how grateful you are about things in your life. It can be your family, career, or anything that you may have accomplished in the past. It may be things that never happened and it turned out to be a blessing in disguise. Take a moment to write down three things that you're grateful for. In fact, do this regularly with the help of a daily gratitude journal. This will help you become more positive as time goes on. Even after you've developed a more positive mental attitude, you should keep doing this. Finally, we're going to discuss embracing challenges and setbacks. Notice that we didn't say failures. A lot of people tend to label setbacks as failures, and that's not always a wise idea to do that. Setbacks are considered pillars for one person's success. It's also a good idea to learn from your setbacks and note what went wrong. Just know that failure is giving up on your goals. No one has ever succeeded without their share of setbacks. Anyone who says otherwise is lying to you. So remember, no matter how many setbacks you've suffered, it will strengthen you and you will be successful when you keep putting in the effort. So that will do it for this presentation. It's always a good idea to make the necessary challenges to your mindset in an effort to adopt a more positive attitude. So follow these steps listed above and you too will feel the positive more often than not. Thanks for checking out this presentation. Take care. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.